can be tax deductible. To find out more, call the money store at 1-800-LOAN-YES. The money store, where America goes for money. We now join our program already in progress. No. You're leaving. Don't leave me here, David! Oh, God. Please, please don't let them leave me here. I shouldn't have let it go this far. Look, I, this, this isn't your fault. I, yeah. I want it. Look, I, I, if anybody's to blame here, I, uh, I thought that I'd... Huh? Looks like there's something going on down here. What, a minor? No, no, he looks, uh, over 21. He's got a bag. Some, there's some kids down there. I knew it. I knew that God! God. sell to them. What? It's Adam. One of the kids is my son. You can feel it start to burn all through here. All you can think about is getting rid of it quickly. I even tried Zantac 75, but it didn't work fast enough. Finally, I asked my doctor, and my doctor said my Lanta. Fast-acting my Lanta was made to work fast, where heartburn hurts most. Soothing, on contact. It's so fast. My doctor said my Lanta. And if you suffer from gas, there's a my Lanta just for you. My Lanta gas. Inside this envelope with a green star is a real check for $25,000. Inside this one is a $100,000 check. There are thousands of checks you can take right to the bank in selected Publishers Clearinghouse envelopes with a green star. So watch your mail. Miss Allison McTerry loves her strawberry, so it's juicy juice from Libby's she'll choose. New concentrate carries with ease, and making it's a breeze. Allison states it's the best juice to date. Juicy juice, non-frozen concentrate. Simon Birch is one of the most unique and touching films you'll ever see. I'm not playing the baby Jesus, so just forget it. You're the only one who fits into the manger. Simon, are you okay? It's an experience you can't miss. I'm going to be a hero. Pretty vague job description, isn't it? And one of the best films of the year. Simon Birch, rated PG, starts this Friday in select cities. Pat and Betty at the Reynolds Kitchens. Until now, the most important equipment needed for cooking on the grill was a pair of running shoes. I forgot the chicken. Where's the corn? The peppers. The chicken's burning! Introducing new Reynolds Hot Bags, extra heavy-duty foil bags. Just put your entire meal in the bag. Close and cook. With Reynolds Hot Bags, the only piece of equipment you need is lounge chairs. New Reynolds Hot Bags make good food better. I'm too relaxed to clean up. I'll clean up. It's the military's darkest secret. I had sex with a man. Is a Navy chief exploiting the women under his command? It's gonna be a tough case. The Jagathon continues tonight. What are you thinking? Do you know that guy? No. Don't lie to me. Who is he? He's Jeff's older brother's friend, okay? How long have you been buying from him? How long have you been spying on me? I am not spying. Too bad you didn't go looking for That's mom. enough. How many times have you bought alcohol from that guy? It's no big deal. You are 15. A couple times. It is against the law. I know it's against the law. Mom's a cop, Don't start remember? that crap with me! You could be fined. You could be cited, kept from getting your license for an entire year, and if you had been caught, you could destroy your entire future. My friends do it all the time. I don't give a damn what your friends do. Can I go now? Do you know? How angry I am right now. Why did you follow me? I'm doing a story here. An expose on liquor stores that sell to minors. Oh, so you're gonna put me on the tube like they did Mom? I want you to understand how serious this is. Drinking at your age is trouble. Big trouble. You drink? I'm an adult. 
I can handle it responsibly. I'm not going to abuse it. But you are a 15-year-old boy, and your body can't handle it. Are you done yet? The next time you decide to go drinking with your friends, you talk to me first. Like you're gonna let me go so we can figure out a way to handle this. Yeah, sure, Dad. Just say no. The guys will think I'm a total loser. Are you hearing me? I don't care what the guys hey, think. Guys, tape. Guys. What'd the cameraman say? He didn't say anything. I'm the boss, remember? Yeah. Thanks. Sure. Sure, I told him we packed up for the night. It's like it never happened. Oh, it happened. Adam will take full responsibility for his actions. Did Mom? Or is she the only one that's allowed to do anything wrong in this family? Please, Barbara, I just really want to be alone. Has it helped? I, I'll call you. If I want to talk, I'll call. A lot of women have been in this before, you know. Uh, no, you know, it's not the same. Handsome young man comes into your life. You don't really notice him at first, but he's there. He's always there, especially when you need him. And then before you know it, he's noticed you. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. Excuse sure, me. Sure, it started out no. innocently enough, Margo. I mean, I know it did for me. And Evan Walsh noticed me. He made me feel young and beautiful and desirable. And Lord knows I was going through some problems in my life. My God, I was going through a divorce. All right, all right. I realized that she had some problems, Barbara. Problems Fine. happen, Margo. I mean, even in a perfect marriage, liking a kind of humdrum, you take things for granted. And you're taking care of a household, two careers going full steam ahead, and you forget to take the time out to be lovers. Is that what happened with my father? No, that's what happened with Hal. Mm. Come on, Marco. Women are human. Just because you're on a starvation diet doesn't mean you still don't have the cravings. And when a rich, gorgeous piece of French pastry is placed before you, who could blame you for wanting to dig in? <laughs> you are such a piece of work. I'm trying to help you. What, by talking like this? I do not like French pastry. I didn't cheat on my husband, and I did not have an affair with Eddie. Y you made this? Yeah. It's heart smart. No fat, no salt, no oil. No taste? It's not that bad. Come on. Eddie, it tastes like the inside of a sofa. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Lights out, Georgia. It's way past visiting hours. Okay. I can take a hint. I gotta go. No, no, no. Five minutes, please. Five, then out. Hey, are, are you okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just... You know what? I shouldn't have stayed. No, I want your company. Look, it's late. You're tired, I'm and you gotta get tired. your rest. No, Eddie. Listen, you got your operation coming up. Oh, don't remind me. Will you stay with me tonight? I don't know. You think it'll be okay with Nurse Ratchet out there? Ah, uh, she's cool. Please, Eddie, stay. All right, I'll stay. I'll stay. But no more talking, all right? It's time for you to go to sleep. Hey. Are you gonna sing me a lullaby, too? <laughs> if I have to. <laughs> lullaby in the night. Oh, what the hell are you doing back here? What's the matter? You resent my continuing attention? You know what? The nurse says that she needs her sleep, yeah. okay? Well, the nurses don't bother about me because I'm on the hospital board. What do you want? It's not what I want, my dear. It's what I must have. I must have some answers, and lots of them. Look. I told you I don't know where Sam is, okay? How many times do you have to hear that from me? You keep telling me until I believe you. This came. This came today. It was delivered from Samantha's attorney. Yeah, and you opened it, right? Of course I opened mm -hmm. it. I'm looking for leads. Does he know where she is? This is a copy of her new will. Her new will in which you are a beneficiary. Who the hell are you? And what have you done to my sister? Guess what the kids call Dad's easy chair? The stinky chair. You know, I have a stinky chair problem, too. His name is George. Well, now there's a way to get bad smells out of fabrics for good. It's called Febreze. It's new. And you won't believe how many places you'll find to spray it. See, Febreze helps clean fabrics in a way you never could before. And it's not just covering one smell with another. Exactly. Just spray Febreze. 
Its patented cleaning system finds the smells trapped in fabrics and gently cleans them away as it dries. Once it's dry, the smell's gone. For good. Febreze, uh, check the Montreal. And check this out. It's safe. From dress blues to teddy bears, Febreze cleans bad smells out of fabrics. For good. I wonder if they'll call it the sleepy chair now. For your face. Sometimes, when you need a helping hand, I'm pretty much lost. it's amazing how far a healthy white smile can take you. Crest Extra Whitening works kind of like a dentist paste. It gently polishes to let your natural whiteness shine through. Which is one way to break the language barrier. Crest Extra Whitening. Behind that healthy smile, there's a crest kid. It's your turn to shine! Some days it's crazy. My hair doesn't need a stylist, it needs a therapist. And that's just what I got with Pantene Pro-V Treatment Conditioner. Once a day, every day, like taking vitamins to calm damaged cuticles, adding shine and control. Make your hair behave better? It can. Pantene Pro-V Daily Treatment it's Conditioner. The No More Crazy Hair Days conditioner. For 20 years, L.A.'s coolest private eye was lost. But now, he's been found. Daddy, I'm speechless. CBS This Fall. He's teaming up with L.A.'s newest private eye. Hey, how are the Rams doing? They're at St. Louis. A road game, huh? This could be the start of something big. Buddy Farrell premieres CBS Friday, September 25th. The new technique that can soon make it easier for parents to choose their baby's gender tonight. Sorry to haul you down here. How'd you find me? Oh, it wasn't hard. You okay? Fine. Um, what's going on with Carly? That's what I'd like to know. She's supposed to be in Montana, but she never checked into her hotel and she never got on the plane. Maybe she decided to go someplace else? Without telling anyone? Well, you know Carly. Did she say anything to you? I was so upset about David, I barely saw her. Mm -hmm. She didn't say anything about changing her plans, going to see friends, anything no, like that? No, nothing. Why was she at the Snyder farm, Molly? It beats me. We found this at the farm. I want to ask you again. Help! Why was she at the farm? We came up empty. Doesn't look like James has been back to Fairwinds. And nothing's been moved. Anything come up here? I haven't heard boo from Carly. She normally calls me a couple times. Wait, wait, wait a minute. She did call. Here. I took it. When? Uh, yesterday, the day before, I, I don't remember. What did she want? I don't, I don't know. I, I cut her off. She said it was an emergency. I told her to call you, hell. Listen, man, I didn't believe her, all right? I thought, I mean, come on, you know Carly. Maybe she did start to drive west. Yeah, maybe she's still on her way and just stopped at the... She had a plane ticket. She had reservations. Why would she change her plans? And why would she go to the Snyder farm before she left town? Maybe she'll call again, hell. If she can call, if something's happened, if Stenbeck's got it. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll track the car, see what comes up. I already did. I called the airport. Nobody spotted it. I'll contact Highway Patrol. She's my wife. Oh. <sighs> nice act. Where is she? I don't know. Now, what is Carly up to? Nothing. She went to the farm to get to Julia, didn't she? Okay. Well, yeah, maybe. To split us? Jack, she still thinks that you two have a shot. Where'd she go after that? I'm not her travel agent. Hey, we don't have time for games. Where is she? Montana. She never showed up there. Well, it's a big state. Damn it. Where is she? Jack, look, she thought if she got Julie out of the picture that you'd follow her back to where you first met her. Montana. Yeah, she has this crazy idea that you would just drop everything. Once she got Julia out of the picture. That explains the emergency phone call. She really think I'd walk out on Julia? Wouldn't be the first time. Oh, no, hell, it's off on a wild goose chase. I am not spending another second worrying about Carly. Help me! Help me! Somebody help me! Anybody, please! Please! Would you get off me? I can't breathe! Darling. No. Wait, I, I am not your darling. Would you snap out of it? I can't do this alone. I'm tired. My throat hurts. My fists are raw. You've only used up a couple of lives. 
You are crushing me and the baby. Hey, baby? what are you doing? Come on, baby. Your baby. <laughs> Who do you think I am, pal? Who are you talking to? All right, let's go. Let's move it. And here we are. What's this place? Home, at least for the time being. Let's go and get home. Fresh air and friends forever. That's their motto. Well, they cannot well, have her bad baby right. here. It's better than on the side of the road. Oh, this is sanitary. This is perfect. This is perfect. It's right in the middle of nowhere. No escapes. I don't even think about David, it. David, how do you know this place? How do I know this place? It's a place where they drop off unwanted kids whose parents don't have time to raise them. You? No, Prince Harry, Juliet. There's gotta be a caretaker or somebody here to help me. Sorry, Lil, we're all closed down from Labor Day to Memorial Day. Nothing here but the squirrels, my dear. You just breathe. Just breathe. It's almost over, okay? Just let it happen. It's almost over. Fascinating, Julie. You do this really well. Do you know that? Everything's gonna be over. I know you are, but it's gonna be okay. Don't make her promises you can't keep. You are doing so well, Lily. If Holden was here, he would be so proud of you. I yes, know and, and Lily, yes, no, and I'm so proud of you, too. I mean, you were a real trooper. I didn't have to stop once for you, honey. David, please, if you let me go to the hospital, I swear, I won't What do you, do you think anybody. I'm a fool? The cops would be all over me in a second. No, David, look, I'll stay. I swear, you take her to the hospital, I'll stay. I'll break this to you, Julia. Listen to me, Lily. She's the prize. No, David, please. Just because I worked in a hospital does not mean that I know how to do this. Oh. I have every faith in you. Make it happen. It's getting better. It's much better now. It's okay. over. Good. There, there. Nice. Everybody's good. David, I want you to think about what you're doing to this baby. I know exactly what I'm doing with this baby. What I'm doing with this baby is providing with a once-in-a-lifetime camp experience at a very tender age at absolutely no cost. What, ho hoping it'll turn out just like you? Just like me? No. Nothing like that. I mean, when you think about it, I really didn't do that bad, considering I got the crap kicked out of me every single day at this place. You know, my parents used to say, they used to, used to say, you know what, kid? You deserve it. They're always acting like you're better than everybody else. David, you don't have to prove anything now. My own father never believed in me, never trusted me. David, he never taught you how to believe in yourself. Well, thanks for breaking that to me, Julia. Really, thank you. You know what? It's not time to slip into my shoes. It's not time to bond with the captor. What are you going to do with us, David? You want to know what I'm going to do? A little camp itinerary? Well, first, you're going to have the baby. And then I'm going to hold it up for ransom for Holden and Lucinda. I think I'll get somewhere in the deep seven figures. That'll be perfect. So here's the catch. Mommy and hubby. They aren't gonna get what they paid for. Why? Relax, Lily. Worrying is not good for the baby. Why, David? Why? What are you gonna do to my baby? Free. Well, what happens now? We'll both get stain fighters uh -huh. and then brighteners for colors. Ooh. But first, you get special enzymes instead of bleach because you're bleach free. Ooh, I like it. 
Introducing new Bleach-Free Clorox 2, a bleach-free breakthrough that works with special enzymes to remove stains and keep colors bright. Get ready, colors. Here I come. Welcome to the family, Bleach-Free. New Bleach-Free Clorox 2. Observe my precious little pumpkin. Would I ever mislead this adorable bundle of joy? Is the earth round? You see, he's totally into this V8 Splash Juice Drink. He loves that light, refreshing taste of fruit juices. So would I tell him only Splash has 100% of both vitamins A and C? That it's good for him because it's from V8? Nah. Especially when I'm about to suggest that maybe he take a baseball. V8 Splash. To health, happiness, and harmony. I'm hungry. <laughs> Whoa. How did you make lemon chicken? Uh, with Pam. She got a sister. Introducing all-natural lemon-flavored Pam. America is now on sale for $59, thanks to Greyhound. So if there are people you need to see, places you need to be, now is the time to go Greyhound. Plan ahead, call Greyhound, and go anywhere we go for $59 or less. Stay tuned for more of As the World Turns. Preview the fall season. Here we go. Target presents a sneak peek at the new stars and new shows on CBS. I'm just happy to be here. Friday, CBS Late Night. What's the second most popular drama on television? Touched by an angel. The real thing. Believe it. Return CBS Sunday, September 20th. The match is back. September 21st. Don't miss it. Next week, but this week, Whoopi Goldberg's telling Howie her biggest fear, lying. I cry, I get, I turn a different color. This is the color of Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Plus, psychic to the stars, Kenny Kingston predicts the future. You're going to Paris, and I'm signing up my kid for piano. <laughs> <laughs> on the next Howie. Today at 4 on CBS 2. Public notice. RV dealer must liquidate rental fleet this Saturday and Sunday only. Find brand new units never rented priced below wholesale book. Plus see a huge selection of RVs with low miles and factory warranties all discounted. Our loss is your gain. Altman's RV up the 405 in Carson. Come to the Edison Field Used Car Super Sale. Over 5,152 cars and trucks available. So many cars that we're giving a car away every two hours. All in one place. All in one time. The Used Car Super Sale starts Friday at 3. Sunday, the NFL is on CBS 2, the way it should be. Sponsored in part by Pacific Bell Wireless. The address is CBS. Welcome home. Why didn't you try to stop her? How? By telling me. Nobody got hurt, Jack. Hal thinks his wife was kidnapped. Well, Carly's fine. Yeah, what about Hal? <sighs> Look, why don't you just tell Hal that, um, that I suddenly remembered. That Carly did call and that she's taking another route and she'll be in touch soon. Where? When? And how did Carly know how to find you? What'd she say on the phone? Did she leave a number? Was anything in the background? I don't need the third degree, Jack. It's a hell of a lot easier than the questions Hal's gonna ask. Oh, look, you're big on the truth. Why don't you tell him yourself? Oh, right. Hell, your wife's fine. She was just trying to get back together with me. Molly, remember anything? No. Yeah, if, if something comes to mind, I'll, I'll call you immediately. What did I miss? Nothing. What do you know, Molly? Nothing, exactly. Did you remember why Carly went to the Snyder farm? I asked you a question. I wasn't there. Your best guess. Why don't you ask her when she gets back? Is Carly the reason that you and Julia did not go to Chicago, Jack? It looks that way. That's why she was at the farm. She's working some damn scheme on you and Julia. Why didn't you tell me? Hey, hey, I didn't think... You didn't think what? That I had a right to know that I'd be interested in my wife causing trouble between you and Julia? Was the whole Montana trip a lie, Jack? Was that her plan? Hey, hey look, if I had known that this you was... You did know, and you denied it. 
Carly hasn't been kidnapped by James Stenbeck. She's out there being her old self playing games. Look, have I don't want to hear it. I don't. My daughter's leaving for Yale tomorrow, and here I am worrying about my wife, who obviously doesn't give a good damn about me. Yeah, look, uh, why don't you call it a night? Go see Nikki, huh? Julia and Lily are still missing. Well, we issued the APBs. We don't have any leads. There's nothing you can do. I can't go anywhere till we get something so I'll call you as soon as something breaks, I promise. See your daughter, huh? Go off half cocked. We won't. You don't move until I say we move. Understood. Hal, I'm really sorry. <laughs> don't. Hey, this mm. is my baby mm. buddy. I don't know who the hell you think you're talking to. Oh, full of fire, darling. Oh, fire. I am not your darling. Oh. Is it Lucinda? Mm. Uh-huh. Closer, right? Close. They're already sardines. Huh? Is it Barbara? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I love it when you whisper my name. Uh -huh. what, what are you babbling about? You're the one in La La Land. Oh, the drug. The drug. Where are we? Where are we? Where the hell are we? Yeah. Huh? Welcome to my trunk. Uh, Psycho boy locked us in here and then he went for a joyride. Uh, what about Lily? Yeah, no, Lily, uh, he got Lily. He snagged her. I what? heard her I heard her voice and then he then he went driving for a while. For how long? I'm not sure. Get sure. Hey, easy there, buddy. You know, it's kinda hard with a ton of gangster on top of you. Uh, when he stopped, I, I I thought I heard three voices. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, and um and Lily's in labor, I think. What do you think? Blame the rotten acoustics. Wait a minute. What did David do? Who's David? <laughs> he put us in here and he walked away. What do you think he did? Oh. We're gonna die, you know, and it's all your fault. You should have jabbed him when you had the chance. I was trying to talk to him. I thought I could reason. <laughs> a I lunatic. I could re yeah, he's my son, though. Oh, yeah, you must be real proud, Daddy. Oh, it's my fault. I mean, I just left him with those Alan's ish. I shouldn't have been abandoned hey, hey, a boy like that. Do me a well, favor. Stroll what? down dysfunctional memory lane on your own time, all right? If you haven't noticed, I'm having a baby. Now, would you get me out of this tin can, pronto? Okay, answer me, David. Let's see if we made the headline, shall we? What are you going to do to me and my baby? I'd hate to ruin the surprise. You think Holden knows you're gone yet? Let's see, 15 minutes of fame, here we go, and damn, no cable. Oh, Julia. Oh, this is a big one. Fine, you just, you just pick a focal point and concentrate. Yes, you can. You can. You've got to concentrate and get David, I swear. If you are my baby. No, 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 I swear I will make you pay. I hate you. Take a number. I swear I will kill you. I swear really? if anything happens really? to my child, I will not rest until I destroy you. Do you hear How me? many others have tried? Bring it on, Lily. Bring it on. Shh, don't think about him, okay? And no, he's not in the room. It's just you and me and your baby. Think about holding your baby, Lily. Think about holding your baby. Please don't let him do anything. Night and day, you are the one. Feel fresh, dry, 24 hours of every day with new Lady Speed Stick Gel. I only you, neath the moon and under the sun. This gel glides on clean and clear, never leaves a trace. New 24-hour Lady Speed Stick Gel. Breeze through your day, however long it lasts. Day and night, night and day. By many. Women love shampooing with Clairol oh. Herbal Essences, oh. reveling in the natural botanicals and organic oh. herbs. Yes. yes, yes! But we'd also like to remind you, yes. men like it too. Herbal Essences, a totally organic experience. Introducing a scrumptiously delicious bar, fortified with 17 vitamins and minerals. The delicious, nutritious new Boost Bar. Get your recommended daily allowance of chocolate crunch. Mom, this is heavy. Bye, bye, Mom. Only 
Lucky Ziploc brand bags have a unique interlocking zipper to lock in freshness in a way no other bag can. Hey, look! The cookie! When it comes out this fresh, you know it went in a Ziploc brand bag. Ziploc, we've got a lock on freshness. If I could fall asleep right now, I'd get six good hours. I could still get four hours. Four hours is okay. What I've done without sleep before, I can do it again. If you can't sleep, if things you've tried leave you groggy the next day, your doctor has a breakthrough approach to sleep therapy you should know about. Sleep Solutions from Searle. Everybody makes mistakes. End of lecture? I'm not lecturing you. It is wrong for a boy your age to be drinking. So only adults can screw up? Adam, you know what I'm trying to say. They're only words, Dad. You Spit it out. out here. Can I... Can I... Can I say something? Oh, good. Double team. How no, 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 no. No one's double teaming you, I promise. Especially not me. I've been in your shoes. Oh, yeah, right. I know you're angry and you're upset. And I know all the people that you count on are sending you mixed signals, Adam. I mean, you probably don't know who you can count on. But alcohol is the one thing you can never count on, trust me. It makes you lose control. It makes you do things you would never do. I was on a business trip, not a long, a long time ago, but a little while ago, and I was really happy, you know, and I wanted to celebrate. So I had a drink or two. And before I knew it, I was, I was out of control. I mean, I didn't know what I was doing. Everything was a blur. So it's okay for you and not for me, No, right? that's not what I'm saying. It's never okay. Uh, have, you, have you ever had a friend who acted like a real jerk? Yes. Okay, well, that's... That's what drinking did to me. I don't like acting like a jerk. Who does? I know someone. Someone, uh, who used to act that way a lot. You wanna know why? She drank too much. She drank too much most of the time. How come? Because I think she was sad inside. And, uh, she didn't know how to make herself feel better. I'm not a drunk. I know you're not. I know that. And you know what? Chances are you're never going to have a drinking problem. But why risk it by starting out so young, you know? This friend. Did she ever stop? Yeah, she did. But in a lot of ways, I think it was too late. How come? She missed out on a lot of good times. Like what? Well, she had a daughter. Um, but because she was drinking most of the time, she, she couldn't be the kind of mother the daughter needed. I mean, she would forget her birthday sometimes, and sometimes she'd even forget to pick her up at school. She missed most of her school plays and spring concerts and things like that. She's never going to get those moments back, Adam. But you know what? I think the worst thing that ever happened was one day she showed up at a PTA meeting, stone cold drunk, and her daughter was there. What happened? The little girl wanted to cry and wanted to run as far away as she could, but her feet wouldn't let her move, so she just stood there, staring at a wall, hoping nobody was looking at her. And then her mother passed out on her teacher's desk. After that, she was teased a lot. That stinks. Yeah. It did. You know, people think they're funny or cool or something. Like, the, the way they've been talking about my mom. Yeah. I guess you've been embarrassed a lot yourself lately, huh? Kids picking on you at school? Some. Guys on the team are acting like mom's some babe now. You know what, though, though? That'll change. They'll find someone else to tease. I guess. No, it's true. They always do. Believe me. You know, I, I don't really like beer. It's sick. <laughs> I'm not a beer fan either. 
You know, I don't I don't wanna end up like your friend. And I don't wanna hurt my family either. Hey. How about trading your suds for a soda, huh? <laughs> you got one? Do I got one? Yeah, I think I could get my hands on one. What do you think, Dad? You don't have to deny Does it. Does the truth ever mean anything and to you, And you don't Barbara? have to get defensive. I do not make a habit of cheating on my husband. Then how would you explain Adam? That was a long time ago. And Tom forgave you? There's nothing to forgive. <laughs> I saw the tape, Oh, Margo. by everybody saw the tape. You know, I can't believe I'm defending myself to someone like you. Someone who has made a career out of adultery. While you've merely made a child? Come on. Admit you made a mistake. Get on with your life. How many times did you cheat on hell, huh? Oh. No, really, because I've, I've lost count here. Or is it, is it maybe just that you're so lonely without my father that you have to conjure up fantasies of Evan Walsh I am trying to, to be a friend to you. Night. Well, I don't need friends like you, all right? Well, I may be the last one you have in town. I'll survive, Barbara. I just wonder how your father would feel if he knew that you were speaking to his wife like this. My father left town to get away from his wife, didn't he? And if he has any sense, he'll dump you. I would have thought that there'd be smiles all around, joy. She bought it, the con, she fell for there it. There was no con, lady. Why should we believe you anyway? You don't have to, darling. Read it. Read it and weep. Because she had a follow-up appointment with the attorney to finalize the changes, and she never made it to she the appointment. She didn't sign it? That puts a crimp in your plans. There was no plan. I told you that already, lady. Look, I told you, I told you, she, she, she cares. Why do you keep saying that? Why? I mean, why does she care about her? What's going on? What have you done with my sister? Where is she? I don't know, okay? Then tell me why she didn't return to the lawyer. If she made the appointment, why didn't she go back and keep it? I don't know that either. I think you do know Listen, it. lady, lady. If we were criminals, why would we keep her from signing that thing? A bite. Doesn't tell make me why. sense. Doesn't make Nothing sense, Nothing right? makes no. sense around here. Why? Why Why are you in the will? Was it blackmail? No. Is it something that you happen to know about the Valletta? Like what? Or is it something else that you were holding over Samantha's head? She was just nice to me. And you bloody well took advantage of it, didn't you? <laughs> Leave her alone. No, that's not it, okay? Sam and I, we were becoming friends. And hey, Georgia, we Georgia, Georgia, what's the matter? Slow down, slow down. Breathe, 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 breathe. This woman can't hurt you, all right? Breathe, breathe. Come on, don't do this to me now. Get a doctor. Is this for my benefit? Now! <coughs> come on, come on, it's okay, it's okay. Breathe, slow down, slow down, slow down. It's gonna be okay. Now on home video. Better get started having fun right now. It's magical. It's musical. It's Barney. Barney! And this time, Barney is bigger and better than ever in his first full-length movie adventure. What's it <laughs> Join Barney, BJ, and Baby Bob in Barney's Great Adventure, the movie. Now available on home video. Look for special valuable offers inside each video. Rated G. We Italians, we love love. We love life. But most of all, we love pasta. Our number one favorite, pasta barilla. Si, barilla. Ordinary pasta can stick and clump. But imported pasta barilla is always perfect, always. Al dente. In Italy, our favorite pasta has one name. Barilla. The number one love of Italians. You'll also love authentic barilla pasta sauce. Does your facial moisturizer feel like a heavy mask? Introducing new Jergens Protective Moisture Lotion with vitamin E to nourish your face and SPF 15 to protect it. So light, you forget it's even there. New Jergens Face Care, nourishment for your face. You have smooth, beautiful skin waiting to be revealed. Introducing Jergens Skin Smoothing Lotion with beta hydroxy to gently exfoliate and smooth your skin. Jergens, it nourishes your skin. Thank you. 
With little helpers, you've got big messes. Try Bounty Rinse and Reuse with sponge-like durability. Ordinary paper towels tear. Sponges can spread germs from previous uses, but rinse and reuse can handle the toughest jobs. One sheet is durable enough to rinse, wring, and reopen. It works till the job's done. Then throw the mess away. The quilted quicker is your upper. Bounty Rinse and Reuse. CBS congratulates Chicago Hope on its six Emmy nominations, including Christine Lottie for Best Actress and Hector Elizondo for Best Supporting Actor. Chicago Hope, CBS Tonight. Oh, hey, this is the man. Meet Dr. Roger Catan. I'm the MVP, most valuable partner. Really? To his colleagues, he's Mark Showman. They want to do a segment, meet the real Hollywood docs. To his patients, he's all heart. If I told you something, you couldn't tell anyone. Right. L.A. Doctors, premiere CBS September 21st. Is, is she gonna be okay? Her vitals are stable, much better than her readings from last night. That's good, right? No, Miss Tucker can't afford to be agitated. She needs to be kept quiet. Now you let her rest. Come back in a couple of hours. Okay, but can I just say goodbye, please? Oh, of course. Um, I'll come back and check on you later. Ring the desk if you need anything. Well, looks like they're giving me the boot. I'll uh, come back later and try to see you then. Good morning. Buzz off, lady. The you caused enough passed. trouble last night. If I was too rough or out of line last night, uh, I apologize. We told you the truth. Sugar-coated. Okay, you know what? That's it. No more questions. You get out. She needs her rest. Maybe this young lady's conscience won't let her rest. Get out, or do I have to throw you out? Dear, I am not the enemy here. I am not the enemy. Time is the enemy. If this young lady knows where my sister Georgia is... Georgia would be the last person to hurt Sam, okay? You keep saying that, but I can't get any satisfaction. Sam is her mom, all right? I can't just sit around, Jack. I should be out there doing something. We will as soon as we hear something. Nothing yet? No, the APB was a waste of time. What are you still doing here, Molly? I thought maybe I can help. No, we don't need your help. Sure, I, I can make coffee or, or straighten go up. Go home, Molly. Easier said than done. Molly, go home. You, you're just wasting your time here. You probably end up causing more trouble or something. Do you ever think that maybe I need to be here? That I haven't had a safe place to sleep in days and that I'm going crazy because my future, my fiancé, and my life is just blown up? You know, I, actually, I am going crazy. I am, because I'm seeing things and, and I'm hearing things. I mean, yesterday I swore that I heard his voice on the phone. Whose voice? David. I did. I, I, first, I, I, I saw his ghost at the memorial service, and, and, and then, hello, Molly. Clear as day. And then, and then click, nothing. He sounded exactly like him. Like he was here and he was alive. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What? They never found his body. Willie's the perfect target. Whose target? He'd want revenge just as much as James. But who's after Lily? Maybe you're not going crazy. Maybe David is very much alive. Hey! Somebody help us! Is anybody out there? Help us! Help! Help us! How long was I sleeping? Help! It's a wonder you slept at all. I've been banging on this thing for hours. Pregnant women get very tired, you know. It's no use. There's nobody out there. There's nobody out there! Huh? Stop. Stop. The sun's up by now. 
It's only gonna get hotter. Help! Come on! Somebody, can you hear us? Help! You know, if we don't get out of here soon, we're gonna die. Help! 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 Help us! Somebody help please. us, please! Please help us! Help, help us, please! Okay, Lily, okay, you're doing oh. great. You're almost through transition, okay? Okay, Lily, everything's please, gonna be fine. Stop. It's gonna be, stronger, it's gonna be please. fine, Lily, okay? Oh. All right, all right, now you have to concentrate. Lily, look at me, look at me. It is time to push, okay? Push yes, you can. Lily, push, you have to. The baby is coming. Oh. Hello, it's me. Your skin? I don't usually do endorsements, but for a new Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion, I'll make an exception.